Do you remember your time in kindergarten where you got to stick tissue boxes and toilet rolls together? Maybe play in the water trough to see which toys would sink or float. Or perhaps you just like to build stuff. You know, we do this at university as well. We get to play with new materials to see how they work and how they combine. We get to integrate diverse ideas to inspire innovation, creativity, and solve big problems. So why is it so difficult to make sure this happens in schools, and high schools in particular? Why this break in opportunity for innovation, creativity, and interdisciplinary play? Well, actually, we know the main answer to that already. Assessment, you know, tests, NAP plan, report cards. Assessment has an extraordinary influence on schools because we do get judged by our results. So while teachers know that it's important to foster creativity and innovation in the classroom, and we prefer to because it's so engaging for students, it tends to take a lower priority because it doesn't fit well with the assessment plan. And it doesn't fit well with the assessment plan because creativity is really hard to assess. See, this is our conundrum. Simple answers are easy to assess. Complex and creative answers, hard to assess. So while we get our students to use their knowledge in complex and creative ways, we tend to assess the simpler items because they generate assessment data much more easily. And that because we assess the simpler items, we tend to spend more of our time teaching and learning in this space and we run out of time for the creative stuff and it's a vicious cycle. My research aims to break that cycle. I've been working with 14 teachers across four schools to develop a new tool that helps in the design and implementation of interdisciplinary learning. Well, actually, that bit's not so new, but the new part is that it helps with the assessment of interdisciplinary learning in all of its creative and unpredictable messiness. I'm using design-based research, which is an iterative process of designing and refining the tool over and over again until we get it right. And our results are fantastic. We now have a tool that embraces the paradox. It allows for innovation and creativity and it supports the assessment and reporting needs of the schools, which is great for teachers because now we can bring unpredictability into the classroom while resting assured that the outcomes will still fit on the assessment plan. And it's great for students because now we don't have to stop them being creative just to do some tests. Thank you.